Welcome back. We got a 2015 Corsa in the workshop today. Um, it's coming for a blower fault. The customers identified they had a burnt out pin on the resistor, so they ordered a new plug, wired it all up with the new resistor, with the new plug, and it's still not working. Customers helpfully left us the old resistor and the plug just to show what's going on. And in this wonderful little box is a note, which I haven't read yet. So I'm gonna read you out this note quickly. Uh, me and my partner changed the resistor and the connection um, and a new bit of cable. The old resistor is in the box with the old connection as well, which is in here. And I will just show you that quickly. So this is the old plug and as you can see pin five on there has burnt out. Same on the resistor. If you can just, just about see in there, pin five's burnt out. So we, on that front, confirm that fault. The garage checked the fuse and it was fine, um, but it still won't turn on and won't produce hot or cold air. So, what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna show you what they've done and we're gonna make sure that it is wired up correctly so we don't go down this whole rabbit hole checking everything else to find out it's not wired correctly. The daughter is a, an electrician, so let's see what's going on. So just coming over to this Corsa, gonna have a look at this new bit of wiring. There we go, look at that. It's actually not bad at all. Nice little just standard house connection down there. They all come with one, one extra wire on these plugs and they've properly isolated it off so it's not gonna short out on anything if it could. It's not a bad bit of wiring. But what we need to do now is just make sure that it is wired up properly. What we're gonna quickly do is I'm gonna go grab the other plug and we're gonna make sure that it's all wired up correctly. Um, the new wires according to the pins on the old ones. So I'll be back in a second. Right, so I've got the old plug and old resistor. Uh, what we're gonna do is just check one of the wires. So what we're gonna do is go to this yellow and green one first on the car and make sure that it's going into pin one on the new resistor. And I've identified that. It's got the pin numbers inside the old one. So we're just gonna make sure it's right down there and see what's going on. So here we go. So pin one should be this side, this black wire. And as we can see that black is going to a brown. So let me just double check. And then with the old resistor, pin one is to the left. Ah, there we go. So what we've just seen is that it's, it's essentially just flipped. So it should be that black one is pin one, that's pin two, that's three, and that's five. And what they've done is they've just flipped them all around. So that black one needs to be there, red there, green there, yellow there, and they've done it the wrong way. So let's get that sorted out first. Just for basic testing purposes, I'm just gonna flip them around in this. And then afterwards, if it does work, we can just, we'll, we'll solder it up at the end. But just for testing purposes, I'm gonna flip them around in this connection block here and make sure that it's all good. Right, so I've just rewired this properly. Just show you. So I flipped all the connections around um, and the blower motor resistor uses pins one, two, three and five. Um, they'd obviously misidentified which pin was pin four and isolated the blue one originally. Um, so I've just gone ahead and isolated the, pin, the real pin four, which is green one. And yeah, uh, she's all wired incorrectly. All it leaves now is to test it out. So let's get in the car. Right, so we've got the ignition on. Dun, dun, dun. And here we go. One, two, three, four. There's still nothing. So we've still got nothing. We need to go a little bit further into testing now. So now we know that the resistor and the plug is all wired up correctly. That side of it's all good. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the diagram quickly and show you what we're gonna test. Look at the diagram. Here's our resistor. Um, this is what we just wired up. And as we see, this is the motor. So we've got our control wire going in from the resistor. So that'll just be the switch changing the output to the motor. Tell it what power to go to. And this is our main power in. So we're just gonna make sure we've got our live there. 
Um, that will confirm. Da, da, da. That'll just confirm the fuse and the relay is good. And then we can do a little check just to make sure we, uh, where they've wired it up wrong, they haven't uh, destroyed the diode in the resistor. We'll just make sure that's all good and we'll go from there. So let's, let's have a look. So what we're gonna do now is just check our live going into the blower motor because that will then confirm our relay, our fuse, like I've just explained. So we've got the ignition on, set up with a power probe. Let's just back pin into our live, which is our orange wire up here. Yeah, we've got 12 volt. So we've got it on full blast, it's on number four. So down here, our brown wire back pinned should be full off which it is. So that's just confirmed our relay, our fuse, everything live past the blower motor is all good. Um, so what we're gonna do now is just chuck it on full blast. So if you put it on all the way, the feed from the resistor to the blower should be straight earth. Um, and yeah, let's just try and diagnose, see if this is a blower motor fault as well. Right, so we know that our relay, fuse and live side of the blower motor is all good. What we need to do now is just double check the, the resistor on the new, double check the diode on the new resistor. Where they've wired it up, they may have done some damage to it um, and it's not giving the right output. So what we're gonna do is use a test bulb. And um, what this is gonna do is just put it under load so we can see the different voltages on the different settings. So setting one will have a different voltage to two, three, and then number four will be a full earth going to the motor. And what this will also prove is different brightnesses. So each setting will have a different brightness. So we're gonna plug this into the blower motor plug, set the power probe up, show the voltages and show the light difference. So here we are all set up. So this is with it off. This is on. Setting two, setting three and same for. And they are all showing different brightnesses. So what we'll do is just test it now. So while it's off, 12 volt going through it. Speed one, two volt, three. There we go. And there we go, number four, full earth going all the way through it. And there we go. So, so that's proved that our diode is good, our wiring is all good. The resistor's fine. It is literally just the blower motor now. So it's just unfortunate. When them resistors do fail, um, everyone just runs it on setting four where it will still work because it bypasses the resistor. And what it does, it does burns that plug out, burns the wiring up. And unfortunately it also does the fan no good. It's got full power all the time. So there we go. We've got a blower motor fault as well. While we're in there, we're gonna solder all them wires up, make it look all neat and tidy, and uh, speak to the customer, see what they want us to do, see if they want us to fit the motor, or they're gonna do it themselves. Thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you in the next one.